Wait, this is new actually. Come on, Kasumi even survived her road. You cannot die. I don't know which one to choose. That's a predicament. Good job. You remember that Mari is here. Okay, I didn't expect the transition to Reinhardt. Has he finally fully developed? Sakurai are still cursed. That would be like very immersive. I would like it. Give me the full one. <laughs> That's the wallpaper. Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of the S era. So. We're going to continue the story, maybe even uh, finish Sakurai Road this time, and I'm kind of stressed on today's recording because I'm doing something that's actually very rare and not that common, so I'm recording this actually on stream, it's a members only stream, but nevertheless, I have like people like watching me, so I'm stressed, but anyway, uh, my main focus is to record, so I think we'll just see what's going to happen. And I'm excited even more because after after Sakurai Road, I actually got to see two additional side stories. And from what I heard, they are mostly about Kain and Beatrice. So yeah, sign me up. And anyway, let's just go to the episode and let's see if we'll end the Sakurai Road in this episode or maybe now there. We'll see. So yeah, I don't have much of the intro to do today. <laughs> Oh yeah, we finished with Sakurai apparently going into her third degree against Trifa. We'll see how this ends. I wonder if she can like actually manipulate like like I said in like previous episodes, like fire on like molecular level and like attack him from like inside or something. Like just activate some kind of cheat mode. Various scenes from K Life flashed through her mind as she entered the stands of trance, singing her aria of war, of war. The happy memories of her childhood. Those blissful days filled with warmth and a merciless whirlwind of blood that swept them all away. Deep down, she was just like Fuji. She had already gone past the point of no return. So she hoped that he at least, at last, could avoid becoming like her. Hell yes! So, so. Yep, the better of the two CGs. This one is freaking insane. I love it. Yeah, I think like this era will be my another folder for wallpapers after Muramasa, because right now all of my wallpapers consist of Muramasa. But yeah, I think like this era will be next one. Her flames turned into the storm, her crimson wings enveloping the church. Uh, this would uh, decide everything. If the divine vessel felt himself powerful enough to shatter the blazing scarlet fire of her conviction. He was more than welcome to try. Uh, okay. It was a priest turn to take a bite. No more punch would extinguish her flames now. As such, he would need to unveil his trump card. He would need to open up his defenses in order to reveal the zealous uh, craving burn, uh, burning his heart. How does she know that he need to open defenses in order to attack? He gave no clue in that. He just said that there's like a place or like a chip in the armor. But he never said he can go into attack mode. How do you know that? Tears of blood break down the priest's cheeks as he witnessed Kay evoke her creation figment. The stigmata on his hands, legs and abdomen all hold in vision, licking fresh blood. I... I still don't understand, kinda. I mean, yeah, I think I, I still don't get this, so you can let me know in the comments actually, about like three fast stigmatas, because Stigmatas were supposed to like bleed and stuff as the punishment from like disobeying like Reinhardt, right? Or like betraying him or whatever. 
And he's just like, I don't know, like, he's bleeding on like every occasion. I, I, I don't get kind of like why. Maybe I'm supposed to not know, actually. Who knows? But if I was supposed to know, then I didn't catch that. So you can, like, you know, help me up in the comments, actually. Having reached the final stage, it appeared they could contain themselves no longer. Yet Trifa remained unconcerned, for he shared in that sentiment with all his heart and soul. And for that reason, even though he could have worn down the girl till she was all but dead, he chose to reveal his trump card in order to end her life in an instant. Only that would break her heart and resolve. Someone, K, Trifa, Ren or Kain, would soon meet their end. Yeah, so he definitely don't want Reinhardt to come back, because if one dies, there's only 7 open, he will kill everyone else, then the 8th will not open, because, well, everyone else is dead. Pretty much. If I would sacrifice them all to the 7th swastika. This, in turn, would taint the Pentashroma, swearing the return of gold. And with that, he would finally hoist the cross of eternal penance of his shoulder and make his first commemorable jo journey down to hell. Yeah, like, if a character, I don't know, like, what to make out of, of him, like, seriously. He just won't, like, being punished, basically, for, like, what he did to the 10 kids that he had to choose, like, to die, basically. Like, he's like... I don't know if I feel sorry for him or not, like... <laughs> I'm conflicted. <laughs> I'm still conflicted about him. <laughs> Trifa made the smile of the loving father, all traces of malice gone from his features, and motioned for Kay to step forward. He will betray everyone to save all, such was the man resolve. Sure. Okay. Oh, Wait, this is new, actually. We had very similar CGU when she was fighting Bay, but she didn't have that face. This is new kind of. This is new CG, and it's more blurry. Like she's faster and like the more resolve. Like she's more scared, I guess. But it's like inflaming her her resolve as well. <clears throat> She had to st uh, slay this man, no matter the cost. She hoped her brother and Beatrice would watch over her. She had uh, been too foolish to understand what those two really wished for. She knew they must have felt indignation at the priest's vile trickery. After all, the two had been in love. And the fact they ended up crossing blades was like he uh, was likely Kay's own fault. Why you think it's your fault? I need that backstory. Yes, it was her duty to put an end to this tragic tale. She soared onwards like the raging comet. Her heart transcended regret, anger and sorrow turning completely serene. It was neither revenge nor a desire to surpass one tutor that drove her onwards now. She would clip him up, uh, apart, and with it, 
the ch and with it, the chains binding her to the past. No other path could lead her the brighter tomorrow. However, okay, if she had permitted to speak her true feelings, not as the blade of Leon, a lion, but as a simple feeble woman. I'm sorry about Leon. Uh, I just like read Dominico recently, so yeah. If her fate was to burn to cinders before achieving her goal, Kay had one wish she wanted fulfilled. And this man who had brought her uh, nothing but trouble. This will be her last and only wish. Kay, I swear. Don't you dare this him being like your like last words or something. Like you are not dying in this road. Like, come on, Kasumi even survived her road. You cannot die. <laughs> Nah, you will not. Kay will, like, Ren will, like, save you. That's fine. Plot armor. She wished for him to make love to her one last time. Oh. She poured her entire soul into that one swing. The attack, sparing not a single drop of her strength, would leave her mortally open. And that moment would prove to be the, the turning point. The Divine Vessel would unveil a gap in his armor only as he turned to deliver the finishing blow. Once again, how do you know that? Like, how do you know that? He never said that he can like go into like attack mode and then where he, like he's like weaker. We only ran that in Ren Road. There was no indication of this. How do you know? Maybe I missed something. Let's go. The true lance. This very moment. Yeah, so... Yeah, also I was... This is a thing, like, the kill me. Uh, it's like, I read in the comments. Like, the woman wants to kill. Uh, so like, kill me, right? Wait, what was that? Uh... Yeah, the guy was in sorrow and like been sad and he had like, uh, like DK attacks, but they only work on single target. <clears throat> And the women have like uh, AoE attacks, basically. And I made like furious here about this. Uh... Let me check. Uh... Four great sword. The one we have in Kane. Say I will be free, and the man laments his own suffering. Okay, yeah. So this is not about kill me. I said that. It's about I will be free. Okay. Never mind then. But yeah, I made uh, some fury about Kane basically in the comments in the previous episode. I don't want to like go into this actually. So you can check the previous one in the comments. The dead warrior, turning himself into lightning, advanced towards me with the slowed time of my creation pigment. Yeah, that's also like big danger, like can like Ren actually fight Kane off? The great, uh, great sword through a white arc, the clinic intent behind it, night pa palpable. The bastard wanted to end me, no doubt about that. What should I do? What were my options now? Unless I did something quick, Sakurai would likely die. I was neither underestimating her, nor trying to inflate my sense of worth. The notion came to me in the form of conviction, as a kind of foreknowledge. If I... Also, yeah, I know, Ren doesn't, does not have the foreknowledge, yeah, they just like make it up as like 
he's supposed to have. Ah, uh, I'm so glad that you clarified this for me in the comments because I would be like so freaking confused again. But yeah, it's just, it's just like it looks like that, but it's it's actually not. What if I killed Kind here and now the seventh swastika would absorb his soul? And I would lose any chance at saving the bastard. Yeah, we need to take out the Trifa first. Sakura would never forgive me, uh, forgive me for that. I curse myself. Why did I turn into such a sentimental fool? Here I was, trying to save people left and right and even hoping for gratitude. Okay, I have a new theory before anything else happens. Uh, it's been a while since we saw Shiro. So... My, cor my current idea for this episode is that Shiro will come here, he will die, and that will open the seventh. And then uh, Ren will be able to kill actually Kain, because the soul that will be absorbed will be Shiro's soul. I mean, he's still just like, he's supposed to be like just a human, so it should not be enough. But on the other hand, he have like weird like telepathic powers and foreshadowing that's like, you know... Like, the Mercurius thing, and, like, he's weird in general, so maybe his soul is enough, who knows. And maybe something will happen to Mari again, like in the previous road, when Ren was, like, pierced with uh, Lance, and her soul was torn away. Actually, I didn't... Well... Never mind, never mind. I, I, I just said I brain lag for a second. If I had the power to make things go that conveniently for me, I wouldn't be in the screwed up situation to begin with. I wouldn't have uh, let hundreds of people die. At the same time, it was precisely what made me comprehend the weight of a human life. The greatsword shot me again, splitting light everywhere. This moment would decide between life and death. I would wow quite the choices uh i will say because i don't know which one to choose um i will choose one i'm not telling you which one but tell me in the comments which one will you choose would you choose number one two three or four and you can tell me yeah like which one would you choose because i'm definitely going to choose that How many times had I messed things up to this point? How many mistakes did I make? And how much did I regret them? You could call me a naive, all wanted, but I would never acknowledge a conclusion I didn't like. Okay. The power of protagonists and the plot armor, let's see. Can you, like, actually not kill Kain? And just, like, immobilize him? So we can, like, go for Trifa first? So the swastika will not open with kind soul. Unless we can like actually feed the place with the soul of like another part, not the brother of Sakurai, then that would be fine. I can sacrifice Sakurai ancestors. They sound like assholes. <clears throat> I cut the giant blade of the great sword between my two palms. The lightning scorched my flesh and the force of the blow shook my body to the bones. They refused to fall. That wasn't enough to make me give up. I couldn't stomach them. I found their very existence repulsive. The bastard skipped forcing all sorts of shit on me without caring about my opinion. Yeah, pretty much. But he's like kinda out of reason. Also, I think like mostly, like for most of the fight right now, like Sakurai brother is not in charge. He seems to be like, I don't know, maybe because he's like the newest one. He's like the weakest because he's like, you know, the freshman basically in this body and like the older like souls have like priority in like taking orders and like fighting 
I have a feeling like we didn't fought really like Sakurai brother for most of the time here. It seems like he recognized Sakurai when we said that she, like your sister will die and then like they instantly switched. Because they failed maybe like kind wavering. I loved the thing, rotten face from up close. Why have him a puppet? Or a raving mad at me? Uh, a raving mad at time. But I didn't forget what he did back then. Those dreadful scenes, both at the club and the school, flashed into my mind with stark vividness. Sakurai could say whatever she wanted, but I wasn't planning to let the bastard off that easy. He wrote havoc without end, killing hundreds in the process, not to mention kicking my ass a few times too, and he killed Rusauka in this road. We cannot forgive that as well. He even tormented his own sister, the point of tears. I sure as hell wasn't gonna send him to hell just because he asked nicely. <laughs> I wasn't gonna uh, give him an easy way out, now that he'd regained his senses. How this evil will end? Like, seriously, we don't wanna kill Kain, because Sakurai would be like pissed like at us, like a lot, but also we don't want to die, and we don't want Sakurai to die, so like, we're kinda in trouble here, <laughs> that's a predicament. <laughs> Shiro, where are you? Like. Distract him or something, like, do something. You are on the way. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Kai is back. The strength uh, behind the thing began to wane. His uh, teeth cluttered, forcing his voice out uh, through his withered throat. Okay. My name wouldn't mean anything to him. That wasn't what he asked. Yeah. The words to describe me at the best at the moment. Okay. Fair enough. We're the same, you and I. A tremble ran. Uh, a tremble ran across the giant's shoulders. I could feel the long uh, legion inside the thing. Uh, divide and begin to riot. The struggle within him reminded me of a full blown balloon, just waiting to burst on the lightest touch. Yeah, that's why I said, like, I had the feeling like we didn't fought with a uh, Sakurai brother for most of the time because the older souls basically took, uh, took priority and, like, basically took over. It is really like internal struggle or of, like, whoever is, like, in charge. The four kinds emerged on the surface all at once, and any conscious control they had on their giant body completely fell apart. Regardless of what Sakurai brother might have wanted, the other three were an amalgamation of malicious rage and bloodlust, and wouldn't be long until even he ended up swallowed by the ocean of wrath. The senses he had momentarily regained were but a countless flame against that uh, swirling gale of deep, rotten resentment. Which prompted me to attempt yet another trick. I had just come up with the wildest, craziest gamble of them all. In other words... I will... Can we... Kill only like other souls maybe somehow? Yeah, that's what I suggested, but like, it's not possible. I mean, you can try because it seems like you're like only option basically at this point. You are not surviving this without fighting. But how can you target specific soul? I guess you just wait until that soul is emerged and then like cut off kind head, I guess. But on the other hand, cannot they like switch really fast like push themselves to like you know what if we ca kill ca like sakurai brother for like accident 
I don't know if I could do such a thing. I'd never attempt anything of that kind before. Yeah, like, no one probably attempted that before. But that would, uh, wouldn't hurt to try, especially since I was clean out of options. I had neither the time nor the energy to calculate and worry about the chances of success. Yep, there's also Beatrice. I ignored the monster, rumbli uh, monster rumblings. Instead, focusing all my attention on the guillotine in my arm. Okay, so we are going to lose Beatrice as well. Great. Where did I hear that before? I couldn't pull this off on my own. No way in hell. I, it was entire, entirely too off the wall to be done by something like, like me. So. Oh! Ren! Good job, you remember that Mari is here! I wonder if she will answer actually because she's suspiciously silent for a while. I need you, please answer me. You haven't really disappeared, have you? I can still feel you inside alive. Something merely interfered with the link connecting us. The story had yet to conclude, but I wasn't gonna accept a bad ending. When there are sounds in our way, I will blow it all to smithereens, so please, come back to me. I wonder if, like, Mercurius can somehow influence Mari's connection to Ren. Because he was, like, speaking to Mari on a lot of occasions. And she's, like, pretty much obeying Mercurius, if you think about this. So, what if, like, Mercurius wants to, like, make things interesting? Like in the game board, in the chess with Reinhardt. And they decided, like he decided basically not, like... Last time they decided to take out the Machina and Samuel out of the board. So it's like more interesting. So what if like Mercurius sealed away basically Mari connection to Rand just also to make it more interesting? Just so like they would have more fun. What if, like, that's the case? Can, can he be, like, Mar Marcus go to Re Mari and say, like, Hey, you know, um, don't speak to this guy. Like, yeah, just don't. Should obey, probably. Let us mark our covenant. One more time. Okay. May the, may the guillotine. Fierce be quenched. Made bath in blood. Rubedo and Nigredo. Gold and Mercury. Even the divine vessel, it didn't matter. The whole of the obsidian table would fall to her blade. So come back to Mimari. Hard of time. Okay, so we actually got a chant. Kind of. Let's see if it's going to be full chant or not. I would sing the song of bliss in the advent of the promised time. The decapitation scar lit up burning hot on my neck. Okay, that's short. I guess it's like still incomplete. In that moment, the world was swallowed by eternal twilight. Oh shit, Reinhardt! Okay, I didn't expect the transition to Reinhardt. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> Why we have transition to castle now? What? Okay. Why are you amused? <sighs> Far away, deep within the throne room of the great Valhalla, the beast made a smile while Mercury narrows his eyes. What I expected to be a mere first was about to take an unexpected turn. The very notion of which filled their hearts with sweet amusement. Could it perhaps lead them to the intoxicating wonder of the unforeseen? Okay, finally something new they didn't expect that. Okay, that should be interesting. The monarch of destruction. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Shall we depart? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Wait, what do you mean, shall we depart? We don't want you! You are not supposed to come back before like 8 is like... 
open. I don't know what Mercurius was. Maybe Mercurius can actually go like back to like normal world and like outside. But Reinhardt, he should not be able to. Because Mercurius came back here after 60 years, alright? So he was somewhere outside for the 60 years, so he can probably just move around, but Reinhardt? The monarch, of, the monarch of Destruction slowly rose from his throne. The gold, the apothe apotheosis of supremacy, would soon descend upon the battlefield. And if he did so, then naturally... Okay. Let's just let, let me just like do this because I need like full sprite. If I remember to cut it. His army or oh, his army of invisible Enherar would follow. Well shit! <laughs> The half-burnt features of the Crimson Nightness, twisted in jubilance. Oh, yeah, and Makina that I... Oh, this is actually the first time we see Makina sprite. We didn't uh, head Makina sprite yet. Okay. These are like the, the, the most dangerous feasts in the whole univer universe of the Asira. Like... Can he really, like, destroy Reinhardt on, like, one hit? Is he, like, one punch man of, like, yes, era? Like, what kind of monster is that? Like, what's your third degree, even? Are you, like, in your third degree, are you, like, punching stronger? Or something? I know, but you are scary. <laughs> the impregnable lips of the sober knight curled up as he felt the iron curtains he himself had lowered begin to slowly rise. <laughs> For my duty to be fulfilled, Mercury smiled to himself and proceeded down the path alone, only his black coat fluttering behind him. Did that curl of lips indicate the joy or lament? Was the shade scorning or sympathizing the torment of mortal men? Eventually, he addressed someone not present, each of his words pouring forth like incantation. Okay? Yeah, so he is speaking to Mari. So, yeah, so I was right, like, he can, like, he's like. Still connected to Mari, so he literally could just like order Mari to not talk to Ren this whole time. Like, that could literally be that. What your heart desires, so he gives Mari a choice, I guess, right now. Something inside my right, my right arm changed. My body had grown lighter and far swifter than before. That was the true form of my creation figment, my overture. Okay, so. Now we have, so he actually used like his actual, actual creation figment now, this is like his full power right now. Like this is actually finally fully developed. A tranquil yet intense essence uh, filled my blade, answering my craving. Not a single moment would escape my grasp now. I could not afford to fail here. This blade exists only to protect each and every moment I cherished. Its very nature prevented it from steering me towards the conclusion I would regret. Okay. There was no place for the tragedy in our story. Sakurai is mine. We wished for a joyful conclusion, a happy end to satisfy everyone. Hence, I knew I could do it now. I would sever the shackles that held the four to volcanoes tied together. And once I did, the chaos of the beasts engulfed the four, swallowing the weaker before the strong. Even though one had been freed from the chains of the others, the pool of the swastik would allow no one to escape. However... So he's basically... 
counting on a chance and luck right now that Sakurai brother will not be swallowed. He's just like, yep, kind, you know what? Endure it, endure it. The young man voice like, uh, lacked even the tiniest hint of doubt as he shouted his order like it was the most obvious thing in the world. His soul was the vessel of the fierce dazzling soul, burning bright. If only she had so much strength as him back at, on the, that day. Indeed, it was not too late yet. Now it's not the time to worry about being too ashamed to show your face or concern yourself or concern yourself with the fate of my wretched self. I told you to fix that wishy-washy side of yours countless times, didn't I? This was a problem I had to solve myself. Something I swore to end with my own generation, within my own generation. You swore that? I forgot that that must have been like in the like, very beginning of the game. I don't recall that. It needles shackle you, Beatrice. You have to learn how to let go. Oh wait, this is... Oh wait, I thought like... Oh wait, this is kind... Perspective? Wait. I swore to end with my own generation. It needed shackle you, Beatrice. Wait, this is kind perspective. I thought this is Ren perspective. Perhaps the young man misconception was for the best. My soul is enough to atone for the shameful deeds of my family. Yeah, yeah that's okay. So we have like internal dialogue for kind. A whimper poured forth from her lips as her blind eyes bled fresh tears. She did not want to hear him speak like this. It only made her feel the bigger fool that all alone in the world. No, you are not alone. Resentment was the only emotion shared by each kind. Their soul bond, and the young man had served it. This is why you, you alone, had the right to... I mean, did you forget that I called you beautiful? A fate like this doesn't suit you. So please, go and look after her in my stead. She's still a child and needs your help, now even more than ever. So he's basically going to sacrifice his own soul for Beatrice, so we're actually going to have Valkyria back, it seems. I mean, Kay would be happy with this outcome too, right? Kind of. I mean, she still will grieve for her brother, but she equally cared about the batteries so maybe she will not murder us because that was their choice not ours oh my blade severed kind's neck and as it did the body of the giant burst like a balloon turning into dust in a mere seconds. In its wake, thousands of tiny particles of light rained down upon me like a squall of fireflies. And within that Vidomir light, its majesty hardly befitting the final moments of so-called monster. Aww. I like Kai. I could have sworn. I spotted him smiling at me for a split second. Aww. Yet once I blinked, all I saw was the colossal grey sword ju jutting out of the darkened ground. That, that is huge. I fell to my knees. Parts of my withered skin peeled off and fell to the ground. I could feel my body metabolism resuming as it began to regenerate my half from the insides. Kain's defeat appears to have freed me from the poison right away. However, did it all work out the way I wanted? 
I felt relatively confident that I succeeded in separating the fourth one from the rest. Still, I had no way of telling if he managed to resist the pull of the Sostika, as if went berser, uh, as it went berserk from the smell of souls. Once again, I had to simply trust in the strength of the third party. Yeah, you... You did actually manage to save fourth. Because uh, Beatrice was the fourth, right? Kai was fifth, actually. So, you are not wrong on this one. I could only hope that Sakurai brother was really the strong man she made him out to be. Yep, and he saved the loved one. What a child. <laughs> Something shattering. Is the in the is the lance shattering for some reason? In that moment, Kane's great sword cracked and shattered to pieces before I could even react. Wait, what? Why would it shatter? Is it because there's like no souls left inside this inside the lance? Because when it was created, it had the lance of uh, it had the soul of the blacksmith who made this, right? So it always had at least one soul within it. So now when there's like no souls, it shatters. So like. Sakurai family is free from the curse? Finally? Holy shit! I could tell that Priest and Sakurai were still alive as the seven swastik opened. But what about her... Uh, that brother of hers? Could he have been devoured just now? No, wait, what the... Can... Oh shit! It changed into... Into Beatrice weapon! We saw this weapon in the like little like flashback we had b before, like few like I don't know how much episodes before, on the rooftop I believe. That's his sword. So it didn't shatter; it just changed form. So the shattering effect was just changing the form. So never mind. Sakurai are still cursed. A new sword, now towards in the place where kind weapon used to be. It's still kind weapon. A simple hilt, uh, conveying an air of gracefulness through its design, with an edge jacked like lightning. It looked more like a work of art than the weapon, something I would expect to see in an art museum. Could this have been... As I reached out towards the hilt, Still someone hesitant, the sword suddenly erupted into an explosion of dazzling light. It's alive. Meanwhile? Okay, we're going back to Trifa now. We are jumping so... Like, from place to place. Should I end the episode here? Nah, I will just continue like a little bit more. It's like 40 minutes. So we still have like some time. A sonorous ceremony of waked sanctity reverberated across the burning walls of the chapel. The time had come for the true nature of the divine vessel be unveiled, and that could very well be considered the obsidian table strongest knight. The Comet of Scarlet Flames had already closed uh, into the priest's very feet. He could feel the pressure of its scorching uh, heat on his skin. It was a desperate charge, charge with one hole be being behind it, an attack meant to claim the life of its target. You know what? I always thought that that would be awesome in the voice acting if they would actually make a chant in like the language they like actually made. So that should be like read in German. That would be like very immersive. I would like it actually.
Hence, the time to draw the curtains had arrived. Fire thee well, cherished a lion maiden. Thou shalt be saved from the terror of eternal recurrence. Requiescat in peace, Lionheart, Leonhard. The hand of the Messiah rest upon thee. You cannot dodge. Reinhard Lanz, I'm starting to being afraid. Ren? Um, your third degree would be very helpful now, you know? Like, stop Trifa from, like, whatever he's doing now and just, like, cut off his head, please? Like, now? The Scarlet Blade crashed into the priest's shoulder with Ampharal Vigor. He had to stop dead in his tracks, unable to rend flesh. Wait, Trifa is still in, like, defense form? Really? I thought, like... Wait, so... So I've been confused this whole time, wait. I thought like in order to use the further degree he need to go into attack mode, but... It seems I was wrong. He can use the first degree without going into attack mode. He can still be in like his defensive state. He's cheating. This is like basically the highest like amount of cheat ever. His mantle torn, the priest's bare skin emerged in the open without as much of a single burn to taint his pallid complexion. That's cheating. Like, I thought like he needed to be in attack mode based on like what we saw in the previous road. And that was a bite. That was a bite, we've been bited. Yet, the invulnerable man had nothing but prize for the girl in his heart. A poignant emotion welled up in his chest as he shed tears of blood that would unfortunately evaporate almost instantly in the scorching heat. He's bleeding again, like, why? Like, why are you bleeding so much, Trifa? Like... You're not betraying Reinhardt right now. I mean, kinda. Not even one of the battalion commanders could have escaped from this blow and scratch. I mean, you killed Schreiber with it, so yeah. <laughs> the priest felt nothing but away and the rever reverence for the grand ascension of the girl's passion. Nevertheless, their path had been blocked by the divine vessel, an indestructible instrument of gods. <laughs> Okay. Trifa made the sign of the cross as he uttered the final syllabs of his sermon. The girl had no way of escaping now. Yep, and the sword will emerge. I mean, Lance. She might have. St I. Oh god, the. Oh wow, that, that was cool. I need to hear this again. I forgot, like he said this in the first road as well. But I forgot how, how he says Beria. This voice acting on this one is so freaking amazing. I love this. This is one word, but this is amazingly made. She might have sealed her resolve to bend the rules of the world and summon another blow for nothing. But no hope could uh, persist in the face of his blade, fangs of his carving. <laughs> Realm of God, huh? Vanaheim. The might of the Lord. What he lasted for, what he madly desired, was the power of the Absolute. So that he would uh, never have, the, have to lose anyone precious to him again. Who never have to destroy them by his own hands again. He craved the power beyond all measure. He craved to become him. 
Yep, pretty much. Don't have the same in his own hands. Okay, that's new, I think, right? This is like additional information what his carving is. We didn't have this before, I think. Like, uh, made this specific. That he don't want to kill anyone by his own hand anymore. He would never have to lose precious anyone, anyone precious to him again to destroy them by his own hands again. So this is his carving. So basically, yeah, he's using like lance from like Reinhardt and basically becoming Reinhardt. So whoever he kills, it's not like on blood on his hands. It's on the hands of Reinhardt, basically. That's what his carving is for. But on the other hand, he's not like really living up to his carving, if you think about it. Because, I mean, he just like kills like, you know, for example, Lisa with his own hands. He like literally ripped off her heart. So... Yeah. <laughs> the radiant beam of the golden light paralyzed Kay. She used up all her strength and resolve to bolster the fire, pouring her entire soul into this one attack. To continue, she would truly have to conjure power from nothing. She knew it. It would come down to this. I had been prepared to sacrifice everything to deliver a second blow. Oh. That looks like a... I'm not going to tell you what, but this CG reminds me of Huminego. <laughs> Yet her voice trembled. And began uh, disappointing in the face of the supreme divinity radiated by the priest lens. I didn't thought about this before actually. Maybe because I was not in the game at that point? When I read the first row? Maybe? I don't remember when I was, but maybe. No mortal could sustain a state of evilness before the light. No mortal could sustain the state of evilness. Can it counter Ren further degree? An exalted, all-powerful divine artifact. The very lens that once uh, peeled the blood of God. Despite knowing full well that speech would only disturb her state of nothingness even further, she could not help giving voice to her bewilderment. It was almost as if Pris was actually him. I mean... It's like his body is and he, like he can transform, he's like the the type, right? He can transform. So, yeah. But as Ren taunted you in the previous road, you are just a fake one. You are still a fake one. You have complex. The impenetrable armor of the divine vessel ruptured for a moment so that the lance emerged from its being. Now was the perfect chance to strike, and yet... Okay, so... It actually gets weaker in the second he's, like, firing this. Okay! So he can charge it up while being in the defense form, but we still have, like, split second to attack him when he's, like, attacking. Yet, she could not move an inch with her state of nothingness. Made the void disrupted. She was no better than the prowless cadaver. Yeah, like almost correct because it's more. It's only like Lance that belongs to Reinhardt basically in the body, but Trifa is still Trifa. Like his soul resides in the Reinhardt body, and it still like brings me to the question I had like a few episodes before. Like, what will happen if Reinhardt actually come back? Because if he comes back, he would like to come back to his own body, right? So, where will Trifa go? Like, will he like switch places with someone? Will he die? Will like... What will happen? <laughs> Kai and Beatrice. 
Last second clutch. Come on. Come on. Ren, I believe in you. Beatrice, I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Hover in that moment. Okay, Beatrice is here. A familiar voice. One she hasn't heard for years. Echoed in her. She could have never forgotten that voice. Yes, one more strike and it will all. One more strike and... Kei could no longer contain her tears. She thought she would never meet her again. But all had been lost. She suffered so much pain and terror. Wrestled with crushing loneliness on a daily basis. It was a dream she wished never to wake from. She yearned to once again call her name like she used to. Not sure if I should put Umineko thing here. Maybe. Probably. She cried out the name. As if... Uh, Beseeching the divines. And the miracle answered. Oh sh... Wow! The sword is like flying actually by itself. Holy shit. The gates of church shattered as a silver blade emerged from the clouds of dust and rubble. It shot straight towards the priest like a bolt of lightning, answering the call of its summoner. How could that weapon possibly be here? It should have shattered and turned to dust the moment kind fell, for the giant absorbed everything as part of his body. Yep, one soul survived. Surprise! So Lisa. Why are you connecting this to Lisa though? Wait, what? She transformed it into a persona for the dead warrior into its chief. What? Wait. Wait, what? Persona for... She separated it from the rest of the false Lance Long Legion, only temporarily attaching to the whole, thus preserving its individual existence. So... It's not because Beatrice's soul survived, it's just... It's just because it was like... Never like permanent part of the Longinus. So even if like Beatrice's soul will be swollen up, then this sword would still be would still be here. Is that what it means? That was why it couldn't be absorbed by the swastika of the rest of the kind soul once Res Fuji had slain the defective Enherar. But for what purpose would they? Kay cut the lightning blade in her right hand and let the inertia of the projector guide her. With the emerge of the second blade, the possibility of the second strike revived from the ashes of the spur like a phoenix. Sakurai dual wielding swords. I'm in love. <laughs> I love dual building. Is there CG for this? Please. Please. Give me CG for that. Not like a man of father at Rifa disposition could ever understand. It was a concept beyond the priest who thought of souls and the lives of mortal men as no more than perpetually recycled trash. A terrible sh shudder rushed towards Tripa's spine. Still, he remained uh, steadfast in his position, despite a torturing inclination to step back. He could not lose, he could not fall, he would trade the world of an eternity. Yet he had to atone for his sins. Yeah. Yeah, Trifa, I know, that's why I'm conflicted about you, like, you are bad, but also, you grieve, 
and also you feel bad. I feel bad for you, but also I don't feel bad for you. Ah, I don't know. Do you feel bad for Trifa? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. I feel bad for him, but also I don't. Oh, I feel everything. He's broken. If he fell here, then what would become of the beloved children? Get in thoughts to betray. Who would save their souls? Also, I don't think I ever like questioned that before, but how did he actually got into possession of like Reinhardt's body? Like actually? We know Mercurius sealed Reinhardt like during World War II, right? In, in the castle. So Trifa got his body back in the day, but or like it happened recently? Like, how does it happen? Maybe I just forgot. Maybe it was actually explained in the previous road. But there was a lot of information. And I it could, like, slip in my mind. So you can also try and help me with this one if that's not a spoiler. So, yeah. Or could it be precisely the punishment that the Lord would exact upon him? He would never accept this. He was meant to be a prisoner to eternal penance. You should have not kidnapped uh, the the candle girl. Um, because that's the the flag. Um, Ka Kasum Kasumi. God damn it, Kasumi! I keep I keep forgetting your name recently. Show up, show up more in the story. <laughs> he had walked uh, the path of the weak saint with unparalleled zeal and pride. He would not allow his uh, sacred mission to be halted, not by anyone. <laughs> Okay, the blade of a Valkyrie, blessed by the divine thunder, had proved faster than even the lands of sacred creed. Holy shit! Was Beatrice really that fast? For its strike, capable of out outrunning light itself, had posted in human speed, even among members of the Obsidian Table. Imagine Ren using this. Who? With his like ability to slow up slow time. Only Schreiber, whose bound as acceleration depended on the speed of his opponents, and Ren, who possessed the power to hold time, would even stand a chance against the logomatic electromagnetic dance of the Valkyria. Cool. Ho! Ho 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 ho! We have actual <laughs> We have actual actual CG for this. Give me the full one! Or th is this the full one or this is the close-up one? She clearly had the other sword. Glass is broke. There's only half of the glass here. Wow, Sakurai is such a badass. I love this. What would have been the cause of this of his fall? When did he make such a fatal mistake? The moment he decided to finish K with the Holy Lance, only he forced Kain to meet Ren Fuji in battle. Should have he allowed Lord Schreiber to remain in the mortal realm? Or would it betray or was it betrayal of first written on Bay that proved to be his undoing? Lisa, Malus, Sp Spinner? How could uh, he could not understand? He could not find a single mistake in his designs. He manipulated everyone. Played them all like a fiddle. He boasted fully confidence in his victory. Yeah. But you forgot that you kidnapped someone that you should not. That was your mistake. <sighs> that was it. He finally understood. Okay, let's see. What's his conclusion? 
his fall was set in stone 11 years ago. Okay, so basically he blames like you know himself for like setting up Beatrice and Kai die. His lot of children abandoned him the moment he chose to pit the two lovers against each other. All his schemes began falling apart, and he forced others to commit the very same mortal sin that he had been. And that he. That had been his very own origin. <laughs> That's the wallpaper. Oh wow, this is the most badass like CG of all time in DS era so far. This is my favorite CG in DS era so far, I think. And once again, I see Shakugan no Shana in this. I cannot have any other like. Damn. This is so freaking cool. The tip of the Valkyrie's blade slipped through the chink of his armor like a crafting needle, exploding in purple lightning. The impre impregnable vessel of gods began to crumble. But Ratrifa could no longer remain in this body. As the blade pierced his chest, his soul had been expunged and began to, to, to dissipate. Well, once again, we are gone. However, are you fucking. Oh, God, fuck. Are you fucking serious? He's not going back to his body, right? He's just like projecting himself to, like, to to scare everyone, just like he did on the bridge, right? He he's just like, like, like Ren was like here, like you know, seeing like eyes on himself and stuff. That must be it. Like, there's no way he can come back. It's only seven that's open. What? Unless they don't need actually any of this. What if Reinhardt is just like, Reinhardt and Mercurius are like just, you, you know what, let's play a game if our uh, like members can like open 8 swastikas, but if we want to, we can come back anytime we want, like, who gives a fuck? What if that's the case? And they're just like playing with everyone. Also, he comes back now, when Trifa so left the body, so basically, Reinhardt Maybe Reinhardt cannot actually come back when Trifa is alive. So in order to stop Reinhardt from coming ever back, we need to not kill Trifa? Maybe that's the case as well. It could be one of these two things. However, Kay could not have foreseen what her rash actions would cause. And I don't know what but we'll see in the next episode i think uh, because it's over the hour and the apparently came back of reinhardt is going to be like culmination of this road i guess because i don't think we can like actually deal with reinhardt <laughs> we'll see what is this is he it, actually going to come back or not uh maybe something else will happen maybe he's just like projecting himself maybe he's going to speak to us We'll see in the next episode, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to talk much because... I want to record another episode and maybe stitch together to this one because... I might be like 5 minutes before the end, I don't know. But who knows. Anyway, thank you for being with me. And I will see you in the next one. So leave up a like if you like the episode. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Become a member if you would like to support me this way. And also we have episodes earlier. Thank you everyone for being with me. For supporting me. For your likes. For your comments. I will see you all in the next episode of the ASIRA. So for now Pocket Watch. I'm going out.